How does Nepenthes peristome evolve? Actually, can you influence their shape? Today we'll see beautiful peristome and we'll do some tests. Hi, my name is Remy and I love Nepenthes. A big part of growing Nepenthes is because of the peristome. Uh, they have different shapes, some are uh, regular, some are uh, flared, some have teeth, some are plain color, some uh, are uh, striped. They are all different and that's exactly what we love about Nepenthes. And when you get hybrid of two different uh, peristome shapes, the offspring will be kind of in the middle, so you can uh, mix and match exactly what you want to grow later. But those peristome, how do they evolve and can you influence their shape? Uh, it took me a while to film the evolution of all the videos that you will have today and uh, I'm really glad to be able to show you. So it's always open by the lid. The lid will fully open and then the peristome will start to unfold. So as you see here on this truncata, we see the peristome, it's expanding, opening, and uh, it's kind of a wavy because it was really tight inside this lid. Look at this beauty. And on this side, it will be totally flat at some point uh, because it's about to roll back. So when it's fresh, it will be uh, stripy like that on this truncata, but later it will get darker. And it's not totally rolled back. Let me give you another example. This is Nepenthes molly or mollis. When it's opening, you see the stripes, beautiful, the peristome. Then later it will expand, beautiful. Really, this one is fantastic. Uh, but then after some days, it will start to roll back. Except if something prevents it, let me show you. On this uh, burke, you see how the peristome is uh, attached to the tendril. Then if I move it, it's keeping the shape, so it could be shaped. Eight months ago, this Vichy eye uh, was about to open a pitcher, so I decided to give it a test. I tried to prevent it to fully roll back and see if I can give it a shape. So. At some point, I used plastic, like a half cup, just in order to keep it from uh, rolling back, especially on one side. Then it was continuing to expand. And two weeks after, it was open. We'll do some uh, close-up shot because that's a beautiful picture for sure. So that's the Nepotes Vichai by your squat candy stripe by BE. If you check on the left of the picture, you see that it's larger than the cup and it's trying to grab it, to cover it. So it took 17 days to fully open. And it took six weeks to really dry. So that's how it was at this moment, six weeks after. So as you see, it covered the whole part of the cup. But that's stiff now. That's no longer something that are bouncing back like an elastic. No, no, this is strong. So I can take it out and it's keeping the shape. And really, really dried. Good size picture. Yeah, it won't go anywhere now. It's fixed forever. And I have another one now. So let's see how this one evolved a month after. So here we are uh, a month after and uh, it's fully open now. And it's, as you see, attached to the old one. Um, it don't curve, it just uh, really stick to the shape that is behind it and kind of uh, grab it. I really like this species. See the shape? It's dry now and it's uh, exactly, I can literally play Lego with that. Hop, attached. I have another Vichy eye uh, just above that is a little bit different, uh, yellow by a stripe, I believe. It's a BCP clone. And this one will have less flare, but uh, it will also be taller and tend to roll back. As you see, behind is almost fully rolled back. So 
So now we are early November. Uh, as you see, the color slightly changed. Uh, nothing really moved here. They are still in good shape overall. And I had a new leaf, a leaf jump, with a new picture. So let me show you this one. Look at the color when it's freshly open. That's fantastic. That's the way I prefer them. And nothing will prevent it to roll back this time. So that's the color it had. And again, nothing behind. And it starts slightly to roll back at some point. Then the color will evolve in this kind of a golden color. And finally, it gets redder. So let's have a better look now. So uh, I won't complain. I mean, that's a great plant for sure. And as you see, the peristome curved back, rolled back. And it's pretty obvious that uh, it won't be uh, open like it should if it was uh, touching something to prevent it to roll back. Look at this peristome. It's very interesting. Anyway, I got a new leaf jump and a new picture is coming. So on the other side, obviously. So this one will be facing us and having the trays on the back. So hopefully it will stay more open. Remember this beautiful truncata at the beginning? Now this is how it evolved over time. So really rolled back. Uh, the color changed a little bit. That's just a random truncata. It's not a clone or whatever. And yeah, pretty rolled back. And because we are here, I will show you the last open picture that I really love. It's Vichyai Pladikaila. Really interesting. This one should stay kind of a flat, not rolling back too much. And I know it's been a few months since uh, the update of the window seal, so it's overdue and uh, I will try to do it uh, soon because most of the plants that I grow are intermediate to highland and that's the best moment of the year when the nights are fresh outside and the window seal get fresh. That's the best moment for me to show you them. If you want to see the grow light I use for my nipple test, there is a video for you. If you want to support the Grow Tent project, the fundraising, uh, here is a link. And until next time, happy growing.